did you know that you can get going with Construct 3 right now, no sign up required? While that is true, you will come across some limitations. So in this video, I'll demonstrate the benefits of using an account with Construct 3. Currently, I'm using C3 as a guest, as you can see in this top right hand corner. Anyone can open Construct 3 and use it in this way. On the left hand side of the start page, you'll see game previews, demos, templates, all kinds of useful things you can look at. And I can use these even as a guest. I can still open the demo projects. I can look at their event sheets. I can move things around. I can even preview the project. However, you'll notice it says this project exceeds the free edition limits. So I can't make any changes and I can't publish the project either. So why don't we take a look at something that we can work with. Let's open the car lanes template, for example. There's plenty going on in this event sheet. But if I scroll to the bottom, Construct will inform me that I have five events left in my allowance. That's 25 events for a guest. But notice it also offers ways to increase that allowance. If you register an account with us, that will give you a total of 40 events to use. And if you verify your email address, the limit gets pushed up to 50. You can either click the links in the event limit warning or Click the guest icon in the top right hand corner to access the account menu. You'll be presented with five options. Register and login, which I'll walk through in a minute. Purchase, which takes you to construct.net's pricing page. Enter access code. This is more for our education users and will warrant its own video. And view details. If you ever want to see how close to your limits you are, this is the dialogue you need. As you can see, as a guest, I have a maximum number of events of 25. I'm allowed two layers per layout, two effects per project, and one web font per project. Anyway, back to the account menu. The first option you see is to register a new account with us, which will take you to this screen. Setting up an account with us is really simple. If you're already registered on skira.com, then all you need to do is use the same credentials that you use on there. If not, come up with a username, password, all the usual stuff, and you'll be registered with Construct before you know it. You can also check out the terms and conditions and privacy policy if you're into reading small print, and you can choose whether or not you receive certain emails from us. You can always change this later, so if you fancy hearing about Construct stuff, then uh, you can pop into your account menu and select it later. If you already have an account with us, you can log in directly through Construct 3. Simply open the account menu and click login. This login dialog will appear. Simply put in your username and password, and you can select like I already have to keep yourself logged in to make things easier in the future. Press login and off you go. Now if you look in the top right corner, you'll see the guest icon has been replaced by your username and if you have one, profile picture. And if you've got a subscription active, look at the bottom of the event sheet and you'll see no more reminders about those event limits. You'll notice the account menu suddenly looks a lot smaller. You'll only have the logout and view details option. Logout's fairly self-explanatory but view details will now change to show you updated limits, or if you have a subscription active, it will show you that. You can also access the help, you can edit your profile, or you can look at your licenses. Let's just pop over to the edit profile page and uh, have a quick look around. Just need to log myself in. So the first thing you'll go to is the personal details page. You can change localization, contact details, the usual kind of thing. You can visit the subscriptions tab to select any emails you want to receive from us. And you can also check your notifications. 
The Profile tab is the home of all your account settings, so have a rummage around and make sure you're familiar with it. And that's all there is to using an account with Construct3. Whether or not you have a subscription with us, using an account is a great way to expand Construct3 and make it better for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you for the next one.